Um, good morning, folks. Um, just having another wee uh, test of the camera and another wee uh, sharing of um, really uh, what what's going on here uh, in the midst of uh, these problems. Um, so I um, just really want to have a, a wee word of, uh, of encouragement. Oh, I see there uh, Susan Henry's uh, on. Uh, good to see you, Susan. I hope you're getting on all right. Um, but, um, oh, Jackie Locke as well. So I'm just going to uh, do a, a wee wander around this morning. I've been out in the uh, out in the garden, and uh, it really is an amazing morning, and it's really fantastic um, to to be out uh, on a, a day like this, um, and just to sit uh, with the sun uh, rising and to see the. The, listen to the birds spring, the birds singing, they don't spring, uh, the birds singing and to see uh, the crocuses, uh, or I don't think they're actually crocuses, uh, but to see uh, the, to see the life that is springing up out of uh, the ground and you know isn't it amazing to think that year on year, I mean to be honest I am not a gardener, uh, but year uh, on year life springs uh, from uh, from the ground and uh, and you know it's really great uh, to see uh, a morning um, like this and whenever uh, I enjoy a morning like this it always uh, makes me think of the one uh, who has created it. It really draws uh, my heart out in, in worship, it makes me uh, think about uh, the Lord uh, who has made all these things. And so I'm going to read, I've actually left my Bible inside so I'm going to have to go back in for uh, my Bible. Um, uh, and uh, and then we're, we're going to look a wee bit at the Word of God. There we go. There it is there. Okay. Okay, so just uh, heading uh, outside again. And uh, I just want to uh, think a little bit about uh, a psalm that hopefully will encourage us uh, this morning. Uh, and just... Uh, Really think about the beauty of this creation. I would just encourage folk, you know, where I'm self-isolating at the minute, uh, but thankfully I can still get out in my garden and I can still uh, enjoy the glory and the beauty uh, of God's uh, God's. So I'm going to just read uh, the Bible. Uh, sorry, you've now got my uh, ugly face. I think it was one of my good friends, Andy Brady, that told me that I had a face for radio. Well, uh, maybe that's why I should point it the other way. Uh, but I'm just going to read a wee verse and just a few a few thoughts so it's psalm uh, number 148 psalm 148 and this psalm is a part of a series of psalms and uh, in english translation it says praise the lord but everywhere you read praise the lord it uh, read hallelujah hallelujah uh, which is just uh, which just means praise the lord uh, in in the hebrew so psalm 148 is one uh, of the hallelujah psalms and you know it's not this is not a time when... Oh, we're back on. Sorry, I lost you a wee bit there. Looks like I'm maybe going to have to go slightly nearer uh, slightly nearer to the house. Uh, let's see how we go. Okay, okay. So, I'm now sitting on my step in my uh, on my decking area, uh, which is very cold. So, um, I think that probably... Folks say that does things. Um, but uh, we're going to just... Let's get back to the Word of God. So, Hallelujah Psalms. Psalm number 148, and uh, let's read this hallelujah psalm uh, together. Psalm 148, praise to God from creation. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars of light. Praise him, you heaven of heavens. Praise him, you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He also established them forever and ever. He made a decree which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all the depths, fire and hail, snow and clouds, stormy wind, fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, 
fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all people, princes and all the judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone, his name alone is exalted, his glory is above the earth and the heaven. He has exalted the horn of his people and the praise of all his saints, of the children of Israel, a people who are near to him, a people who are near to him. Isn't that an absolutely remarkable thought? Isn't that an amazing psalm? A psalm that says all of this world that we see around us, the beauty of, of the the sun that rises, the azure sky, the frost that I've just got up a, a earlier on, the the frost, this whole area was covered in frost and it was just beautiful to see it. But the whole earth declare is the fullness of the of God. The whole earth is the Lord's and it all declares his fullness. And you know, it is wonderful uh, just to sit this morning and to enjoy uh, something of his creation. He is the one who is worthy of our praise. He's worthy of the praise of the angels, the hosts, sun and moon and stars, heaven and the waters above the heaven. He commanded and they were created and he is in absolute control. He established them and he established them for he established them forever. You know, this is not a part-time job. Uh, this is God's uh, eternal purposes uh, and he has established them forever. And not just forever, but forever and ever. Um, it says, He made the decree and they will not pass away. Uh, God is in absolute, total, sovereign control. And so we say, praise the Lord from the earth. Everyone's to praise him. Even the sea creatures. You've probably watched, haven't you, with me? You've probably watched Blue Planet. And as the blue planet captures the glory of, um, of those sea creatures and all of their uh, intricacies and all of the genius design and all of the colours and the sea creatures, even at the hand of an atheistic videographer, the sea creatures and those from the depths, they praise the Lord from beneath the sea, the mountains and the hills, uh, the fruitful trees and the cedars, they all refer yeah, and they all bring praise to God. Beasts and cattle, creeping things, flying fill. But it says young men and young women, children and old men. We know no matter your age, no matter your gender, no matter your uh, social status, um, the calling of creation. There's a great hymn, I'll maybe post it on, Creation Calls. And creation calls every one of us to an attitude of worship and an attitude of praise. Young men and maidens, old men and the children, let them praise the Lord for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth, um, as above the earth and the heaven. And it says here, he has exalted the horn or the prosperity, poster, posterity, not prosperity, posterity of his people. The praise of his saints, a people near to him. That's a really amazing thing. The one who deserves the praise of the heavens and the earth. The one who deserves the praise of the sun and the moon. The one who deserves the praise of sea creatures and uh, and hail and storm and sun is the one who, who says, I have a people, a people who are near to me. He says, he said to the Israelites of old, he said, um, build me a tabernacle that I may dwell among you, that I may live among you. A people who are near to me. And the Lord Jesus Christ says this in the face of all of the circumstances. The one who spoke the world into being is the one who says, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. That's a remarkable thought, isn't it? The God who's worthy of the praise of all creation is the God who knows us uh, and the God who is near to us and the God who has promised to never leave us and never uh, forsake us. But you know, just before we uh, leave, I just want to turn over to another verse uh, over in Romans, uh, the book of Romans and chapter number one. Romans chapter number one. And um, it says there, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to all who believe, for the Jew first, for the Greek, 
uh, for in it, that is the good news of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ, that he lived as a perfect man, he died as a perfect sacrifice, he rose victorious over death, hell and the grave, for in it the gospel is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, because it's written, the just shall live by faith. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and the unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness because what may be known of God, he says, there is a people who are near to me, but God has revealed himself because what may be known of God is manifest in them because God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power in Godhead, so that they are without God, without excuse. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God. And, you know, here is a God who has revealed himself even, uh, I mean, I just even just in the, so, the, the bird song that probably the mic's not good enough to pick up, but there are birds singing around me um, and there is just a, a glorious, uh, a glorious um, cacophony of sound, the detail of the, uh, the detail of the flowers, the and the beauty of a, of a, a lovely spring morning. Uh, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof in it. It does declare, it does declare his glory and we, we, should, we ought as a people um, to worship uh, and to, to praise him. But he says that he has revealed himself and he has revealed himself in such a way that, that individuals can respond to it. And yet we've chosen um, to, to not fulfill our greatest and highest calling and that is to know God, worship God, uh, and uh, to enjoy him forever. And so I just want to encourage you this morning, um, if you're allowed out, then go out and sit and listen to the birds as they sing, uh, see the frost as it dissipates with the sun uh, as it falls upon it, and remember now your creator in the days, either of your youth or, or not, as the case may be, but remember now your creator, uh, and just with all of creation, uh, praise him, for he is good and his mercy endures uh, forever. Just before we leave, I'm just going to have a wee word of prayer, if that's all right. So, Father, I just thank you for everyone who's watching at the minute and others who might watch this at a later date. Father, we thank you that you're good and your mercy endures forever. We worship you because you are worthy of our praise and our adoration. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth. You are the one whose sun and moon and stars and uh, the creatures of the sea and the creatures of, of, the, of, the, of the sky all declare your glory and your praise. And we magnify and extol your wonderful name. At this time of trial, we pray for all that you would keep those, our loved ones safe. I pray that you would give wisdom and grace and courage and skill and expertise to all who will manage these difficult conditions. And Father, we really pray um, against the spread of this terrible uh, condition. But Lord, we know that you have established the earth uh, and you are in absolute control and we trust you and we love you uh, and we are confident in you. Help us as uh, your people um, to know you and to serve you and to be your hands and feet at this time of crisis. Father, we just thank you for this time together, praying your blessing in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Well, thanks very much. Um, hopefully that's been a wee bit of a benefit um, and uh, we shall perhaps sign off now uh, and look forward uh, to something again tomorrow. God bless. Good day.